Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Glow TV Series Glow is an American comedy television series created by Liz Flahiv and Carly Mensch. The series revolves around a fictionalization of the characters and gimmicks of the 1980s syndicated women's professional wrestling circuit. The Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling originally created by David McLean. The first season consists of 10 episodes and was released via Netflix on June 23, 2017. On August 10, 2017, Netflix renewed the series for a second season of 10 episodes. Premise Set in Los Angeles in 1985, Ruth Wilder, a struggling actress, auditions along with dozens of other women in a fledgling professional wrestling promotion called The Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. She is at odds with Glow's director Sam Sylvia due to her tendency to overact. When Ruth's former best friend, retired soap opera actress Debbie Egan, arrives at the ring, their confrontation promises to either make or break the show. Recurring In addition to Kia Stevens in a recurring role, Several professional wrestlers made cameos throughout the season. These include John Morrison as Salty, the Sack, Johnson, a trainer who appeared in the first episode, Tyrus and Carlito, who played Carmen's wrestler brothers, Joey Ryan as a wrestler known as Mr. Monopoly, and Ryan's real-life wife, and wrestler Laura James played his valet, Crystal. Alex Riley played a wrestler known as Steel Horse, Brooke Hogan as nightclub manager Amber Fredrickson and Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian as unnamed wrestlers. Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, and Gorgeous George appear in archived video footage in Episodes 1 and 4. Production The idea for the series came when Flahiv and Mensch, who at the time were looking to make a new female-centric show, came across the 2012 documentary Glow, the story of the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Before this series, Neither woman had heard of the Glow Wrestling promotion, and they became intrigued by the premise of producing a fictionalized version of it. Both women found the storyline intriguing as a way of exploring the aftermath of the 1970s women's liberation movement. With Flahives telling Rolling Stone, we wanted to look back on the 1970s, coming out of the women's movement, and into the 1980s, and ask the question, did it work? Did things get better? To this end, it was important for the series to maintain a tension between whether or not the League was exploiting women or empowering them. Ursula Hayden, the owner of the Glow Company, served as a series consultant on the series and helped Flahiv and Mensch with creating the show. Hayden was also on the original 1980s promotion as Babe, the farmer's daughter. Chavo Guerrero, junior of the famous Guerrero wrestling family also served as a consultant on the series and helped train the actresses. His uncle Mando Guerrero had served in the same role for the original series. Filming The series was shot on several locations in Los Angeles, mainly in the San Fernando Valley. Chavo's boxing gym, which is Glow's training grounds, was a mashup of two locations, the interior was the studio set while the exterior was the rear of the San Fernando Masonic Lodge. The pink motel in Sun Valley was used as a stand-in for the Dusty Spur Motel. Glow's sleeping quarters. Other notable locations include the Mayan Theater and the Hollywood Palladium. Principal production on season 2 commenced in October 2017. Marketing For the Spain market, Netflix Espana released a series of promo videos featuring singers Marta Sanchez and Vicky Laras. The first video, titled No Controles, features Sanchez imitating Ruth's imaginary wrestler scene from the first episode. The second video has Sanchez and Lara's squaring off in the ring. For the Brazil market, Netflix Brazil released a promo video featuring singers Gretchen and Rita Cadillac auditioning for Glow. Soundtrack The series features several songs from the 1980s, as well as tracks from the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s. Quiet Riot's cover of Come On Feel The Noise was used for the series trailer. Songs covered by the cast include the Thompson Twins, Hold Me Now, and Barbara Streisand's This Is One Of Those Moments. Reception Glow was praised by critics upon its release, receiving a 94% approval rating from review aggregation site Rotten Tomatoes.
the site's consensus being, with spot-on 1980s period detail, knockout writing, and a killer cast. Glow shines brightly. The series has a Metacritic score of 81 out of 100, based on 37 critics. Darren Franick of Entertainment Weekly gave the first season an A rating, calling it a silly smart masterpiece, with an ensemble cast entirely made up of breakout characters. Sophie Gilbert of The Atlantic said, It's just a blast to watch women having so much fun. Glow fully owns its campiness and its showy aesthetics, but it's smart and subversive underneath the glitter. The series received mixed reactions from some of the original Glow wrestlers. Jeanne Bazon, who wrestled in the promotion as Hollywood, commented that some of the training and the gym and the outfits they get correct. Patricia Summerland, who played Sunny the California Girl in the promotion, saw Mark Maron's character Sam Sylvia as a stark contrast to original GLOW director Matt Simba. Eileen O'Hara, who was known as Melody Trouble Vixen, felt that the series did not properly represent the promotion. Lisa Moretti, who competed as Tina Ferrari, and would go on to the greatest fame among GLOW alumni as Ivory in the WWF WWE as a three-time WWF Women's Champion during the Attitude Era, said that she was relieved that the series isn't a documentary because it was more entertaining to have a mix between fact and fiction. More positive reception came from mainstream wrestling figures including Kurt Angle. Ethan Sapienza of Slate noted accurate comparisons between the series and WWE as well as the various regional promotions that made up the National Wrestling Alliance during its heyday. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you 